Okay, today's presentation is not going to be a Facebook or Instagram live. Um, I'm doing this as a video because there are some things that I'm going to edit into the feed so you guys can see it. There's a lot of discussion uh, in the news today about um, some events that happened back in 1982 and some discussions going on I'm seeing on social media about what consent means and boys will be boys and if we all had to be accountable for the things that we did when we were in high school, what would the world look like? So this is Moxie Mama's opportunity to give you guys um, what I have done to explain to my teenage boys about what consent is. They are probably gonna die that I am making this video um, but I think for me, the lesson to um, being a mom of sons and educating them on what consent means is going back in time to the early 80s. And um, some of the things that we saw, our generation saw, the parents of the current teenagers, what we saw in our media growing up. Hang on here for a minute, and I'm going to show you. But I feel compelled to mention to you, Jake, I mean, if all you want off the girl is a piece of ass, I mean, I'll either do it myself or get someone bigger than me to kick your ass. I mean, not many girls in contemporary American society today would give their underwear to help a geek like me. Get a piece of ass anytime I want. Shit, I got Carol in the bedroom right now, passed out cold. I could violate her ten different ways if I wanted to. What are you waiting for? I don't know. She's beautiful and she's built and all that. I'm just not interested anymore. Does that really matter, guy? Yeah, it matters. She's totally insensitive. Look what she did to my house. She didn't know shit about love. I think she cares about his party. I want a serious girlfriend. Somebody I can love. It's gonna love me back. Is that psycho? It's beautiful, Jake. You know, I think a ton of guys feel the same way as you do. Really? Yeah, it's just they don't, they don't have the balls to admit, you know what I mean? I mean, they're just, they're wimps. Samantha is, uh, she's really special, you know? I'll make a deal with you. Let me keep these. I'll let you take Carolyn home. But you gotta make sure she gets home. You can't leave her in some parking lot somewhere. Okay? So did you hear that? I've got Carolyn passed out in the bedroom and I could violate her 10 different ways if I wanted. Carolyn Mumford in 16 Candles was the prom queen, was beautiful and a real party girl. And everything that happens to her in that film seems to come from a place of, eh, she was drunk, she was hot and she deserved it. Did she deserve to have her boyfriend whom she tells in the beginning of the film she wants to marry and have a house full of kids with him does she deserve to have the man that she loves talk about her that way does she deserve to have him put her in a car with a guy she doesn't know who's going to take her home and end up in a car parking lot she doesn't so let me apologize to John Hughes, okay? I'm an 80s girl. I loved this movie. I have seen 16 Candles a thousand times in my life, and I laugh about it every time. Watching it recently with my boys, however, was a little bit different. I watched it as a parent, and I remember my parents reacting oddly to the film when we watched it together back in the 80s, and I thought, oh, it's not real. It's just a big party. It's okay. As a parent watching it with my teen sons, I found myself grabbing the remote to hit the pause button. And I stopped at this point in the film and I looked at my children and I said, is that consent? Is that what that is? What is going on there? What is he teeing her up for? And they said, that's assault. Because we talked about it and we framed it as an assault. Later in the film, when Carolyn passes out in the car like this and puts her hand up through the hair of the geek and says, I love you, I stopped again. And I said to my children, is that consent? And they said, no, because she's drunk. The geek responds with, this is getting good. We know what's going to happen. We find out at the end of the film it does. Neither one of them remembers it. 
And Carolyn says to Jake in the church parking lot, it's okay, I'm covered, I won't get hurt. I would argue in 2018, she did get hurt. She blew it off because she knew she was drunk. She was told she kind of deserved it. Um, she agrees to Jake that they were pretty terrible to each other and immediately blames herself for the circumstances of the prior evening. Let me reiterate, I love John Hughes movies, but I'm going to suggest that a woman who was 15 in 1982, and when this movie came out two years later, was 17, would have had very much the same mentality, that anything like that wasn't going to be believed and that boys will be boys. Go and teach your young men what consent means. Tell them. Pull out a movie from the 80s. They are full of inappropriate references to people hooking up. Another example, Revenge of the Nerds. Puts on the Darth Vader mask, goes into the bounce house with the cheerleader. She thinks it's her boyfriend. These are all predatory images that our generation of parents raising today's kids grew up with and we laughed about. And it's okay if we use them now as those teachable moments with our children. It's important for your young men to understand what consent is and for the young women out there to be able to trust that the next generation knows what consent really means. It can be verbal, it can be nonverbal, but it is inarguably consent. Thank you guys.